What if your office assistant or yourself had a smart, reliable buddy? One that could handle everyday office admin tasks like summarizing meetings and replying to emails, so you could focus on what really matters. Hi, I'm Sumera, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an AI agent using Make. No coding needed and it's completely free to get started. Before we dive into the workflow, let's quickly understand what actually makes up an AI agent. First, the brain. This is the Large Language Model, or LLM, that gives the agent its ability to understand language and reason through problems. Next, we give it instructions, what is called a system prompt. This is like the agent's job description. The third part is memory, also known as context. This is where the agent stores useful information like internal docs and FAQs. And finally, tools. The agent uses tools like scenarios and make to actually do things such as sending emails, creating a document, or summarizing a meeting. To start with, head over to the link in the description below and create your free make.com account. I recommend upgrading to ProPlan. You'll get one month of free access to premium features, including 10,000 operations to experiment with. Once you're in the Make dashboard, head over to the top right corner of the screen and click on Create Agent. At the top, we need to connect to an AI model. I've already set up two connections, but you can choose from a range of providers like Grok, Amazon Bedrock, and more, each offering unique performance characteristics. I'm using OpenAI here because it's reliable, well-documented, and supports a wide range of advanced capabilities out of the box. So for this example, I'll stick with the default connection name. Next, I'll add an agent's name. I'll name this agent Sally's AI agent. Now we move on to the model selection. Since I've connected OpenAI, I'm choosing GPT-4. It's fast and cost effective. Next, we need to define a system prompt. Hit on save, and then we are going to go a little bit deeper in this. So let's configure our agent a little bit in detail. So think of it like this, that this agent is an office admin assistant whose goal is to support internal coordination, meeting planning, documentation, and staff communication. So you are acting as in behalf of an office administrator in a professional workplace environment. So you're going to give all these instructions under system prompt. And I'm just going to clean it up a little bit because I copy pasted it from a document. Um, you can pause the video here and you can copy as well. And I can also put a link down below where you can actually copy the script. Under system tools, we only have one uh, available, which is generate meeting minutes, which I have already created previously. So I have added that to my agent. So these are basically sub scenarios that can, that the agent has access to and can run on demand. All right. Looks like our agent configuration is completed. Hit save. We are going to jump back into the system tool section. I've added two more scenarios, sub scenarios. I haven't completed them yet, but it's just, just to show you, which is knowledge base and draft email. What we are going to do right now is we are going to add the descriptions uh, in each of these sub scenarios. You can configure your sub scenarios separately, but at this stage, we are just going to put the description in. I'm just going to look at it because it's asking me to put 240 characters. I'm not sure if I am within the limit. I'm just going to hit on save and see if it works. You can think of it as additional instructions as well to your, uh, to your agent. Let's get back in because I believe uh, I didn't get save actually. Let me shorten it a little bit. Right, so the draft email description has gone through, all good. We're just gonna do the same for the knowledge base. I'm just gonna edit the description here. Once it's done, I'm gonna hit save. Right, let's read through. Right. So now we have got three sub scenarios, draft email, generate meeting minutes, and knowledge base. At the moment, the only one that's active at the moment, which you can see, which is the knowledge base and generate meeting minutes. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Click add and just scroll down. You can see all three sub scenarios or tools are listed under this agent. Don't forget to save your work. 
Now, let's drill down to the scenarios itself. We'll look at the knowledge base. What it means is the Google Sheet, it has access to where the company information or HR policies are listed. So it's not much in here, but it, that's basically the context. This is another tool to draft an email, which agent has access to. Now let's create our scenario. Click the plus sign and select Slack. Then choose the watch new events operation. This step sets up a webhook, which basically means the scenario will get triggered instantly when something happens. So a webhook is like a doorbell for your scenario, right? So in this case, watch new events means the scenario is monitoring Slack for any new messages in the selected channel. And as soon as it appears, it triggers the next step automatically. I'll just select new channel message. Channels of AI automation. And hit on save. Let's run the scenario once to test if our webhook is active and catching new Slack messages. I'm just going to put a, put a message here, hello world, and see if Make has received it. Yes, it does. That's great. So the trigger is set up correctly. Now I'll add another Slack module, add reaction to automatically acknowledge the message with an emoji. Add a reaction, right? So just pick that up. And let's choose an account. So Make is asking for permission to access the Slack workspace. So we're basically authorizing Make to read messages and take actions like posting replies or adding images. So I'll go ahead and approve the connections. Once it's authorized, our scenario will be able to interact with Slack, just like a team member would. Right, we'll select the channel uh, from the drop down here. And for the message ID, I'll select the timestamp. And for reaction, I'm just going to type in thumbs up. All done. Now comes the interesting part. We'll add a make AI agent as our third module. Just tape by yep. Yeah. And we'll select run an agent from the list. From the drop down, select your agent that you created in the beginning of the tutorial. So Sally's AI agent. That's great. We have all the three scenarios listed. For thread ID, select the client message ID. So this keeps the conversation in context. Let's open up advanced system instructions. So I'm going to give agent some specific guidance. In this case, I want to trigger the generate meeting minutes tool. So I'm just going to put that in, in the, in the context and under messages, I'm just going to select the text, which the user has typed in in Slack, right? So that's the instruction the agent will act on. Hit save. Your agent is now active and listening. We will now finish this workflow by sending up a message back to Slack with the progress of the task. For that, I'll create create a message action. And I will select the channel from the drop down. We'll output the response from the agent in the text section so the user knows exactly what's happening. So I'm just going to select the response from here and hit save. All right, let's quickly recap how the data flows across our system. So it all starts with Sally's AI agent receiving a task, say summarizing a meeting via Slack. And then the agent then triggers a specific scenario, generate meeting minutes, which runs standalone. So from there, the scenario connects with tools like Gemini, Google Docs, and Google Drive. And it processes the data and delivers the final output to the right place. So Sally doesn't need to switch between five different apps. Her AI agent handles everything start to finish. Let me walk you through what's happening inside the generate meeting minutes sub-scenario. 
So here's the flow. We start in Google Sheets where a link to the meeting transcript is added. From there, the scenario reads the transcripted sort in Google Docs and uses AI to generate both the meeting summary and the detail minutes. Once that is done, it creates a Google Doc to save the output. So here is the transcript that I'm providing uh, this workflow with, and it's on Google Drive. And the link of this transcript is shown here, which is under meeting transcript heading. So this is already provided to the agent. So what happens is it reads it, it creates a summary in meeting minutes, creates a document, put the link here and updates the status. So one thing to remember here is that make sure the scheduling at the bottom is set to on demand. That way the scenario only runs when triggered by the agent and not on schedule. Now let's look at the inputs. This is the message the scenario will receive directly from the agent. Basically whatever the user typed in Slack. So it's just a text message. So for the output, just make sure your variable names are clean, no spaces, no special characters. Put an underscore in if it's a long one. Keep it simple and descriptive, like document URL as I've shown here. Finally, the scenarios return output module. We return the result back to the AI agent. So in this case, it's going to be a single field, the Google Drive document link, which the agent will use to update Slack. So I'm just going to pick that from here. All right, let's test our Office Admin Workflow in action. I'm going to hit Run once. And Make is asking if I want to use the existing data or wait for the new input. I'll jump onto Slack and I'll message my agent saying, Generate Meeting Minutes. We know that the transcript is already in Google Drive. So the scenario is now running. Let's have a look. Here we go. The output is being generated. So let's check the last module once. Just give it a couple of seconds. All right, it's done. Let's have a look at the last module. We received the drive URL, which was sent back by the agent. Everything's flowing just as we designed. Now let's jump over to Slack. You'll see the automation has posted an update including the URL. Let's click on the URL. All right, so you can see that the worksheet has been updated with the new link. That's the new document it has created. Let's have a look at the document. Right, so it's fully formatted. It has the names of the participants, the summary, as well as the meeting minutes as well, based on our instructions. And that's it for today. We've just walked through a complete end-to-end -end automation using Make AI Agent from a Zoom meeting to meeting minutes and summary. There's so much more we can build with this. I'll be sharing more powerful use cases and tutorials in future videos, so stay tuned, subscribe, and let's keep building smarter together.